Are you serious? Are you serious? We have serious issues to talk about here with North Korea. Don't miss tonight's uh, broadcast. Prime time live. I'll be live at 10 p.m. Eastern here from Little Rock, Arkansas. Only on YouTube tonight due to low, very low Wi-Fi capability. Uh, Here's the situation. Uh, The Secretary of Defense... James Mad Dog Mattis just made a statement eight minutes ago. He said to North Korea, you need to stop actions that could lead to the destruction of your people. All right. And then North Korea just a moment ago, just now, says seriously, they are seriously examining a strike near Guam. Uh, let me take a look at that article right now. That is a CNN article, actually, and we're going to find out the verbiage on this from North Korea. North Korea, according to CNN, is seriously examining a plan to launch a missile strike targeting an area near the U.S. territory of Guam in response to President Donald Trump's warning to North Korea that any additional threats will be met with a fire and fury According to a new statement from General Kim Rock-Kum, published by state-run media there at KCNA out of North Korea. The North Korean strategic force of the Korean People's Army is seriously, they say, examining the plan for an enveloping strike at Guam through a simultaneous fire of four they, they, in other words, they're saying we will fire four, simultaneously, four Hasong-12 intermediate-range strategic ballistic rockets in order to indirect the enemy forces on major military bases at Guam and to signal a crucial warning to the United States. Now, the Hasong-12 rockets to be launched by the uh, North Koreans would cross the sky above Shimane, uh, Hiroshima, Japan, and uh, would fly 3,356 miles, or excuse me, kilometers, for 1,065 seconds, and then hit the waters 30 to 40 kilometers away from Guam. You know how close that is? Are you seriously serious about this? In other words, land about 20 miles from Guam according to a statement. So they're saying they're going to fire four of these off and drop it in the front door of Guam, right over top of Japan. So what does that mean? And can you sit there and say, okay, guys, don't worry about it. when they fire these four, just, just sit here and just watch them. They're going to fall. I mean, what do we do? Do we shoot them out of the sky? Do we have the capability to do that? Uh, do we do a preemptive strike before they ever fire it? Does Japan shoot it out of the sky since it's flying over their heads? Will they have small, dirty package inside, little nukes? Don't forget the prophetic dreams. Remember the dreams? The three dreams? The priest in Canada? The prophetess, 87-year-old prophetess in New York? And the Christian author from Indiana? All talking about these two packages one for Chicago, one for New York, and the earthquake in San Francisco, and how there's been so many of you out there watching these YouTube videos have had similar dreams, maybe one for one city or another. We've, seen, we've, we've received dreams for people who've seen tidal waves, explosions in Manhattan, uh, tsunami-type waves hitting New York. We've had people tell us of dreams of earthquakes and explosions, Uh, In San Francisco, we've heard people speak of explosions in Chicago. All of, I mean, now you got Kim Jong-un yesterday saying he could hit Chicago or New York with a little package. What's what's he mean by the little package? The little package was what they would put inside these intercontinental ballistic missiles, these ICBMs. So he's starting to say the very things that some of you have already seen in visions and dreams. Now, God did give us a word, though. And that was, we can pray it to stop. We don't have to sit here and wait on it. We can pray. So I'm going to ask you to do that tonight. And I'm actually going to be live at 10 p.m. Eastern to discuss all of this and a whole lot more that's going on in the world today. Plus, 
We're going to revisit BB Arkansas since I was there today. Spoke to people who actually witnessed one of the strangest phenomenons, two New Year's Eves in a row in world history, and what started a 3,000 year prophecy called the Hosea Prophecy. It hasn't stopped since BB Arkansas, and it's not going to stop until Christ returns. It is an apocalyptic sign of the last days. Man's sin has brought this upon the world. I'll be back with more. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are running out of time.